Hey everyone, welcome to the Acrylic Asylum. I'm Mike Ferris, and in this video I'll be showing you how I do these chilies step by step, so stay tuned to the end so you don't miss any video lesson details, and check out the description box below for a list of colors and materials. So getting started now, I have an 11 by 14 inch pre-stretched canvas, and with raw umber right out of the tube, I'm putting that on my canvas directly with some titanium white. And now with my roller, I want to mix those up and just cover the whole canvas with this color and I'll even do the borders as well. Okay, now just giving it a quick dry with my hair dryer on medium heat. This just helps the drying process a lot faster. So on my palette, I'm gonna take some titanium white now with my number 20 flat brush and just put a little bit of this raw umber into that. And with this very light muted brown color, I'm gonna go in and just sort of apply where I want this wood to start to be the lightest. cleaning yet and some permanent black with a little raw umber into that and with this dark value let's go in now and make a couple places where there's some gouges in the wood here and then also there's going to be a couple of knots so I'm just laying this out and this is just the blocking stages that we're in. Okay with this value on my brush now I'm going to take the edge of my brush and I want to start to make these wood grains and have them sort of bend and curve that go somewhat around these knots here and show some pattern going on. After some wood patterns there, I'm going to take some cat orange now and a little bit of burnt umber to this and a lot of that color off my brush and titanium white. That's still a little bit too orangey, so I'm getting some raw umber to knock that down a little bit and a little bit more white to bring it up. So now with this color, I want to go in and just here and there sort of streak it in. So what's really neat about this wood is that there really is no correct way that I can tell you. It's just take these colors and these values and you streak them in and you don't cover everything up. So see, I'm not going down every row with this color. And so this is what it's all about in the acrylic world. It's just building up these values on top of a base color and having some of that show through and play with all the other values. And that's what builds up all this dimension and texture. Now without cleaning, just picking up more titanium white. And again, just here and there, but not everywhere and letting this value play along. So over here I want to take more white now because this is going to be the side that my light source is on. So with every picture you always want to pick a side or where your light source is coming from because that's going to determine where your highlights are going to be hitting on objects and everything else. And also where your shadow side obviously is going to be. So I want this table on this side to be the brightest. So with just more titanium white and I did not clean my brush yet from that last value. And then with that same color I'll just go in and put some highlight streaks here and there. Okay, and now some titanium white, raw umber, a little burnt umber, and let's go on with this value.
without cleaning more titanium white and just going on the knots I'm just gonna streak this value here and there but not everywhere and I will be putting different values in there and they'll all be playing together with some of that dark showing through and in this way this is gonna be what builds up the texture and the dimension of these knots Now let's grab some cad orange to that and a little bit more white. No cleaning yet. And again, here and there, but not everywhere. Okay, and now I wanna knock back some of that white color with some raw umber and permanent black. So just again, here and there, and letting some of that dark be redefined in there. And now permanent black, and with the edge of my brush, let's make some cracks here and there. with some color left on my brush let's go back in and re-scratch in these gouges that I lost here okay just grabbing more permanent black and just gonna make some more cracks down like so and I'm also gonna go up and redefine that upper knot there. I feel like it got kind of buried there. So I'm not really worried about covering stuff up because as you can see, I can just come back in there and knock colors back anytime I want by covering over. And I can just rediscover stuff anytime that way. And every time I do that, it also adds another layer on top of what I've already done. And in that way, it also adds more dimension and more volume. So just going in close, I'm pushing extra hard on my brush. And as I come down, very little pressure and it comes to that point like you see there and this is creating some more cracks in the wood. Okay, so some permanent black now. Let's make a few gouges. Let's make one here. And this just adds more interest and some aging and character on this board here. And let's put another one right there. Okay, more permanent black, and I'm just gonna make some more cracks down like so. And so you can do this any way you want. This is wood, so there's no right or wrong. Any way you wanna make this grain, and I'll tell you, if you're not happy with what you're seeing yet, just keep applying these methods, keep putting different values of color in and streaking them in together. And I'm telling you, at some point, you're gonna love what you see because it will just get better the more times you put down layers. And that is a guarantee when you're doing this. Okay, with this dark value, I just wanna go in there and just kinda of dance that in irregularly. I'm gonna go kind of at a slant, some that are straight up and down, and just add some more interest into the wood. Now with a clean brush, getting some titanium white and some burnt umber to that. And now on my palette, I've put some cad yellow down and I wanna warm this color up and let's introduce this value now. Okay, grabbing more titanium white to that color and with this yellow sort of hint of yellow I should say I want to use that to sort of show kind of more of a bright glow here where the lights hitting the table making it the brightest Okay, 
just picking up titanium white, no cleaning yet, and I just want to put in some highlight stuff. grabbing more cad yellow now I want to make this glow just a little bit more and I will settle this yellow color down because it is a little too much at first but it will help when I cover over it just a little bit so just again apply that right here sneaking over here so I want some of that over here as well I'm just gonna pick up some burnt umber there and a little bit of white and with that I want to scratch in some of these cracks within this lighter part of the wood here now grabbing cat orange and to that with some burnt umber and a little white to that and now with this value I want to show those in here So after the wood grain colors, now I want to take this raw and burn umber together and with this darker value, I want to put in just a few more cracks on here. With that same value on my brush now let's go back in and redefine those two gouges right up here so now after the background's dry i took some chalk and just drew out the basic shape of the chilies there so now on my palette i have permanent black raw umber some primary red cad yellow which i'll mix with this red and over here, a separate set of cad yellow that I want to mix with phthalo blue for a green that I did not want to mix up there. So now I'm just going to take my angle brush and get some of this primary red. And this is going to help me make very precise lines because on the angle brush there, as you can see, it's got this point on it and all those other bristles are out of the way. And so I can just use just the very tip of that. And just like so, I can make this very nice crisp line. So with the same brush, I'm just gonna take this primary red and after establishing my lines very crisp and clean, I'm just gonna fill in the rest of it and cover everything with this base coat. Okay, with a clean brush now, I'm gonna take this cad yellow and now phthalo blue to make this green. And with this basic green, I'm gonna block in now for the stems. So 
So just gonna give it a quick dry again on medium heat with the hair dryer because I wanna apply another coat and I don't want it to blend in with this first layer because on top I wanna make this more vibrant. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing and just cover over again in the same way. And as you can see, the first coat compared to the second coat now that's on, it's a lot more vibrant and has a lot more dimension and vibrance to it. Okay, and same thing again, another coat of this green color, and let's go another coat on the stems. Okay, now I'm just getting some cad yellow into that red to make this orangey red color. And so with this slight variation in value there, as you can see, it's a little different. It's gonna be very subtle, but this is gonna help complement the vibrancy of the red that's already there. And I'm not worried about covering up every square inch. In fact, I don't want to cover every bit of it up, ah, every bit of it up because like I said, this is going to help complement the red that's already on there. So just kind of here and there, just sort of put it on there. And this will help to show different value change and in a way, sort of this reflective light going on. Now grabbing raw umber to this primary red and this is going to darken the value and so this is going to be a shadow color and with this I'll start applying that here and there. So now taking this shadow color here and I just want to dust that out and show this natural shadow play transition. And so I'm just going to start with this and then I'll put a very dark value down right next to the pepper and then have that blend out into this faded stuff that I'm putting down now. So now just picking up some permanent black and wiping that off my brush and just a teeny bit of it and right next to the pepper right here, like I said, I want this to be the darkest part of the shadow. And then I want to be able to fade that up into that lighter stuff that I put down first. And this shows this natural transition of shadows and how they would play in real life. So with that darker shadow color now, I'm going to apply that down here. And this will be our shadow side again because the light is coming from the right. As you can see, the table's lighter on that side. So. Now with a clean brush, I want to take this cad, I'm sorry, this primary red and orange. And now I want to add just a teeny bit of this raw umber to it. And with a lot of color off my brush, now I want to pick up white and I want this lighter muted down sort of orangey red color here. And so I'm going to start applying for these direct highlights. And again, I want to start with this faded stuff first, and then I want to get brighter inside each time and be able to fade that out into this faded stuff, showing that natural light transition. So I kind of ran off course with that highlight there on the way of the pepper. So it's just some more primary red. I can just knock that back and just like that, get it right back on course. 
So picking up titanium white now and I have not cleaned my brush and I just wanna go in there and start making things brighter and fading into that first faded color I put down. So just grabbing a little bit more titanium white and I'm just going back in again and I want to leave some of that fuzzy faded look that I put down first. And I can even go outside on the edges like so and I can reinforce that fuzzy look. So I'm just really building up the light transition part of this direct highlight for now. And if I get titanium white and go for bright too fast, too much, then I'm going to lose this light transition that happens naturally in real life and I'll lose some of the vibrance and shine that way. titanium white and still some of that color left on my brush so this isn't the brightest just yet but again notice I don't cover up all that stuff underneath and I let some of it travel outside of that and the more times I do this and the more time I take getting to the pure titanium white this way the brighter and more vibrant this will become Okay, so now with a hair dryer on medium heat, I'm just gonna dry this out now because I wanna take pure titanium white and I don't want it blending in anymore with this other stuff. So now with pure titanium white with a clean brush, I wanna get this as bright as I can. And now that these pads of this faded color are there to support this white, when I do put it down, of course, like I said, I won't cover all that faded color up. And this faded stuff that goes past this white is what's gonna give this vibrant shine to it. Let's go back to our green now. I'm gonna just get some yellow 
and titanium white. And with this value, I want to go in now and start building the, dim ah, the dimension and the texture of these stems here. So now I'm going to get more phthalo blue to darken this green now. And with this darker value, I want to go down here. And I just kind of want to play this in a little bit. And a little bit more blue now to make it a little bit darker. And let's just build a little bit of shadow detail. So with that, I'm just going to kind of make sort of this indication like so. And then it just sort of follows the pepper stem. And again, this just adds more dimension with these values playing together. And no cleaning necessary yet. Some more cad yellow and white. And let's take this brighter color now. And with this value, let's go in here and just hit sort of this highlight right like so. Bring that down. And then let's just kiss the end of it. Show a little light sneaking in playing on this right here. And without cleaning, just titanium white. And with this brighter value, just gonna hit the end like so. And with that same value, let's go into this one as well. Okay, and more phthalo blue to darken that green. Let's go in here with a little shadow streak like so. Okay, and so now with a clean brush, I'm taking some raw umber and some black and let's work on some of the shadows. So now with light pressure on my brush, I'm just gonna take and dust that color up and show this natural shadow transition. And so in here as well, I'm gonna take very light pressure again and just wanna fade that out. And that shows realistic shadow play going on. grabbing some raw umber and to that just a little bit of titanium white and with this lighter color here I want to go up here and I want this lighter shadow up here because it's further away from the other peppers that are close together and also some light coming in so it's not going to be nearly as dark as you can see it's darker at the peppers and then lighter on the outside there So just hitting some more shadow with those same colors, raw umber and permanent black. And then with that same color, let's do a separator between the stem and the top of the peppers. Okay, so with my script liner brush now and lots of water and titanium white, I'm going to sign this piece. And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you found this lesson enjoyable and helpful and all of that, then hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any lessons I'll be putting out on a weekly basis. And for those that have questions and comments, please drop those down below. I'd love to hear from you. And give this one a shot. This is very simple. Not much to it. This will totally turn out. I promise. Just hang in there. And the more coats you apply, the better it just will become. So until next time, guys, happy painting, everyone.